What is up guys? It is Austin and today I'm doing a review on the all brand new Specialized Stump Jumper Alloy. Now before we get started on the actual review, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Stump Jumpers. So this is the alloy, the lowest spec of it. This bike comes in at $2,500. So this is an entry level full suspension mountain bike. Also, this bike would not normally come with pedals, but so you have to get pedals. Now, this bike sizing is not going to be like X small, small, medium, large. It's actually going to go in under like S, then a number. So this is the size S3, which is a medium. On Specialized website, the alloy can go up to from S1 to S6. So S1 being the smallest. And S6 being the largest. This bike comes in two colors. Black and orange. So that's a little bit about the bike. Now let's talk about its specs. So to start us off in our front fork. We have a RockShox 35 Solo Air Fork. With 140 millimeters of travel. This fork comes with lockout. Air adjustments so you can dial in all your settings. Through axle, rebound. Now, thing about rebound, it is just to so you can determine how quick you go through your travel. Now, as we move down to the rims, we have Presta valve caps on the specialized aluminium dual wall rims. For our tires, we have the Specialized Butcher Grid T7s in 29er 2.3. To stop this bike, we have Tektro's Gemini SL disc brakes with these 200 millimeter disc brake rotors. Quick thing, this these are not the best disc brake rotors. If there's one thing to change on it, this is the thing you need to change on this bike. Now, to talk about the frame for a little bit, this is a 661 aluminum frame with internal cable routing and a tapered head tube. As we move up to our grips, we have the specialized trail grips. Here are the Ge Tektro Gemini SL disc brake levers. Now, for shifting, we have Ceram. SX Eagle. These are not the most high-end shifting from Ceram. It will feel different from Shimano because here it's more like a button than it is like a lever. So yeah, as we move on to the handbars, these are just some standard specialized 661 aluminum handlebars. This is the specialized trail stem. Here is our dropper post lever. This is the specialized lever. Here's our Gemini for the rear. Now as we move back onto the rear shock, we have an O-ring on the X-Fusion Pro O2 RL. This has rebound adjustment and air adjustment. Now, as we move upward a little bit, we have our specialized trail saddle. It comes on the rock hopper also, so that there's nothing new about that. Now, this is our Trans-X dropper post with a 170 millimeter tr of travel. This is a different dropper post than the lever is. Now, as we move back, onto the opposite side. For our pedals, we have these one-up pedals. Now, pedals do not come with bi bikes at this range. So, yeah. These are very nice pedals. I'm just going to warn you about these pedals is if you do scab your knee, you're going to hurt a lot. Here's our Ceram SS SX Eagle with its beautiful cassette. Here is our rear tire. Now the tire is a specialized purgatory grid T7 29er 2.3. 
Now, on our Tektro Gemini SL brake back here is a 180 millimeter disc brake rotor. There is no clutch, it's an automatic clutch, so it's automatically engaged. So, yeah, also has our through axles in the rear. So, yeah, this is the bike review on a specialized stump jumper alloy. Now, do I think it's a worth it bike for the price? Yes, very much so. Are there other bikes out there that might be a little better than this? Yes. Is it a great beginner bike? Yes. Is there room for upgrading? Yes, that's for sure too. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe for more content. Thank you guys. This is the last video of the year. 2021's over, guys. Merry Christmas and bye-bye.